Hi, I'm Sarah with DIY Style, and I'm going to show you how to make a fun summertime clutch. It's made really easy. We actually just used two placemats, and then I've embellished it with some crystals. The supplies you will need are magnetic purse snaps by Clover, a water-soluble pen, a tape measure, the buttonhole cutter, matching dual-duty XP thread, pins, the last thing is two placemats in a design that you like to make your clutch. Your first step is to lay one placemat on top of the other, making sure that all the edges line up. Then divide the top placemat lengthwise into thirds and mark with your marking pen. Then holding the two placemats firmly together, fold the edges up to the six inch mark to form the pocket. Then press the fold so that it stays flat for you. To mark the placemat for one half of the magnetic closure, measure across the width of the clutch and mark the center, which on ours it'll be six and a half inches. And then you also want to measure up from the bottom of the clutch two and a fourth inches. And then with your marking pen, just make a small mark in the center. Remove the lining placemat and set it aside. Lay one half of the magnetic closure right over the marking of the placemat. You want that dot that you made to be in the middle. Then with your marking pen, mark where the two prongs would go through the fabric. These will be your guide about where to cut with the buttonhole cutter. Now with the buttonhole cutter, make very small slits so that you can get the prongs through. Then insert the prongs through the placemat, making sure the prongs go to the wrong side. Lay the back of the magnetic closure over the prongs and fold the prongs to the center. Now the, lay the lining placemat back on top of the other placemat. Refold the pocket of the clutch back to its original 6 inch measurement. And at the sewing machine, stitch each side of the pocket, stitching from the fold to the edge on each side, and make sure to reverse stitch when you get to the ends. And make sure at the end to reverse and reverse again, because this part gets a lot of pull to it. Now stitch the other side the same way. Next, fold the flap of the clutch over and mark the placemat for the second half of the magnetic closure. Make sure when the flap is folded over that about a finger's width of room is left at the top. Only put the holes through the lining piece and you're just going to make the cuts the same way as you did for the pocket magnetic closure. Make sure when you put the holes in the placemat that you only do it through the lining piece. You're going to use the buttonhole cutter as you did for the pocket magnetic closure. Now that I've got my magnetic closure attached to the top, I'm ready for the last step. You will notice that when I fold the placemats over, they're not even. That's okay. Just use it as a design element and allow it to stand out on the front of the flap. At the sewing machine, now you want to stitch across the bottom edge and then stitch up each side. I'm just going to add a couple pins to make sure that I don't lose the unevenness of the edges. First I'm going to stitch across the top of the flap. Now go ahead and stitch up the other side as you did the first one. Now my clutch is done. Be sure to check out local home goods stores to find other placemats so that you can make other fun clutches for the summer. You can also add heat set crystals to add more sparkle to your clutch. For more sewing tips, projects, vodcasts, and blogs from the Creative Chicks, check out DIYStyle.net.